Hey, it's me again. Today I'm going to explain the for each method in JavaScript. The for each method is used to iterate, meaning loop through, the elements of an array and apply a specified function to each element. You have an array. We can use the built in for each method of arrays and send each element through a callback to a function. Here's an example I'll create an array of numbers. Let numbers equals 1 through 5. Then I'm going to create a function to display each element. Function display. There will be one parameter, an element. We will individually display each element within this array. Console.log each element. I can display each element of this array by using the for each method. We will take our array dot use the built in for each method, then pass a callback as an argument. We will pass our display function as an argument. So this should display all of the elements in my array to the console. One, two, three, four, five. Believe it or not, the element argument is provided for us with the for each method. Behind the scenes, the for each method will provide to a callback an element index and array argument, an element for the current element that we're on when looping through this array, an index that keeps track of the current index number, and the location of the array itself. In this case, it would be numbers. That's why when we pass the display function as a callback, we're already provided with an element argument behind the scenes. So we're using the for each method to display all of the elements of this array. Let's use the for each method again to double each element before displaying it. I will create a new function, function double to double the value of each element. Element, index, and array are provided for us automatically. For each element, what are we going to do? Let's take our array at index of index. Index keeps track of the current index number. So during each iteration, it's going to increment by one, starting with zero. We will take our element, multiply it by two. All right, so let's take our numbers array use the for each method, then pass a callback to our double function. So now all of these elements should be doubled. Let's triple them now. We'll create a function for triple. Function triple. We will set the parameters to be the same, but we will multiply each element by three, then pass in a callback for triple. So now we have three, six, nine, 12, 15. They're all tripled. Let's square each element function square. Again, the element index and array arguments are provided for us. Take our array that we receive at index of the current index number, set this equal to, to square a number, we can use the power method of math, then raise a base to a given power. We are raising our base of element to the power of two. If I pass our square function as a callback to for each, we will now square each number before displaying it. 1, 4, 9, 16, 25. Then this time let's create a cube function. Function cube. Raise our element to the power of 3. Pass our cube function as a callback to the for each method. And now each number is cubed. 1, 8, 27, 64, 125. Let's create a more practical example. I will create an array of fruits. Let fruits equals some fruit. We have an apple, we have an orange, a banana, and a coconut. We'll create a function to display each element. Function display. It's kind of like what we did before. An element argument is going to be provided to us during each iteration. Let's console.log each element. And then we will use the built in for each method of our array fruits fruits dot for each. We will pass our function as a callback to display each element of this array. Apple, orange, banana, coconut. Let's create a function to make all of these strings uppercase function uppercase we'll need an element index and array 
element index array. During each iteration, let's take our array that we receive, add the index of our index, equals take the element that we receive, use the to uppercase method. So we have an uppercase function that utilizes the to uppercase method. Remember that a method usually belongs to something. This method belongs to the element that we receive. Functions are standalone. Before displaying each element within my array of fruits, let's take our fruits array, use the for each method, then apply a callback to uppercase to make all of the elements uppercase before displaying them. What I'm going to do is copy all of these elements so they will begin uppercase. I'll create a lowercase function. Function lowercase. We have our element index and array. With this line of code, we will use the to lowercase method. Within the for each method, we will pass our lowercase function as a callback to make all of the elements lowercase. Let's set the elements of our array to be all lowercase again. This will be a challenge round. We will capitalize the first letter in each element of this array. We will create a function capitalize. The element index and array arguments are going to be provided to us. Take our array that we receive at the current index, set this equal to, we're going to get the first character in each element. We will take our element, get the first character, char at index of zero, method chain to uppercase to make this letter uppercase. Then we will string concatenate our element, use the slice method. We'll create a substring, begin at index one. This portion is going to create a substring of every character besides the first. The first character we're going to make uppercase. So now this should work. So let's take our capitalized function, pass it to the for each method. And now the first character in each element is all uppercase. All right, everybody, so that is the for each method. It's used to iterate over the elements of an array and apply a specified function as a callback to each element. You take your array, use the for each method, then pass a callback as an argument. It's really useful if you need to apply a function to each element of this array. And well, everybody, that is the for each method in JavaScript.